Hey everybody, my name is Jessica Basie and I'm going to be showing you guys how to accentuate the eyes and edit the eyes in um, some pictures. You know, make them pop, make them look nice. So these are some of the techniques that I like to use. I'm not really sure, I mean I'm sure I know how other photographers do it, but this is just one way that I like to do it. It's easier for me. So first what you're going to do is make a new layer. So just click that little button right there or Command Shift N on a Mac. Probably it's, I think it's Control N on Windows. So what you're going to do is go to your brush, set the hardness to zero. I like to start out at zero. Size, um, we're going to try 20 for now, but you can always toggle it and see what works for you. Um, I'll always, you know, move the size back and forth as we go. So you're going to make a new layer again, and we're going to just color really lightly. I'm using a tablet, by the way. It's probably easier to use a tablet when you're doing this. So you're going to just lightly color over that. And no, don't worry, we're not going to keep it like this. <laughs> that, would be, that would be horrible. Then we're going to grab that eraser, and you're going to go ahead and erase any excess. On the eye. You can always, you know, change. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, then you're going to take your layer, you're going to go to soft light. Now, you can't, I don't think you can see the difference now, but you can toggle it back and forth. And make sure not to have the white, I always like to keep the eraser brush at 0% hardness all the time. And the opacity, let's just switch it to like 60 so it, it kind of uh, transitions really well. Always add in more. Okay. I'm really like a nit, I'm really nitpicky about this, okay. Again, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep the opacity like 70. I don't really like to keep it up at the highest, 100. I always like to keep it at 70, 60, so it's not too obnoxious. And then, again, it's going to be at soft light. Oh, God, that looks horrible. <laughs> I have to be careful not to do too much. Erase. So when I zoom out, Obviously, it looks a little bit too much, so we're going to lower the opacity on this, okay? So, if I toggle it back and forth, let's see the full thing. This does not look bad. Again, there's a better, it uh, makes a better, it just looks better. So, we're going to make a new layer. I'm going to call it pupils. And I like to do this on separate layers because sometimes I'll want to add more to the pupils rather than actual, the outside of the eye, which... I'm an art student, so I'm not really sure what I know with it. <laughs> so anyway, same thing, overlay. You're going to switch this one to overlay, not soft light, for the pupils. Um, you're going to go to your brush tool, and you're going to go ahead and color this in. So I'm going to go smaller and color in the middle of it. And again, my opacity is at 77. So you're obviously not going to keep it like this. She looks like she's possessed or something, so hopefully we're not going to keep it like that. So, we're going to lower this a little, see how it looks. The eye is just bringing out the eye a little more. Some people, what some people like to do is they like to use yellow. I don't, I don't know why. Some people, that's their preference. So, let's just try it. Some people, like it makes the eye pop a little more maybe. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Anyways, so we're going to make another layer and we're going to call this outer pupil. And what we're going to do now, we're going to set this one to soft light. And we're actually just going to outline this, the outer of the eye. God, I'm horrible. I don't know anything. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and color in the eye right there. So actually, look how nice it outlines that. And again, we're using black, opacity around 22. And the size is about 9 pixels, 0% hardness. Again, you're going to lower the layer because we don't want it to be too obnoxious. So let me show you a before and after of what we have now. So it just really brings out the eyes more. It just makes the eyes look a lot nicer. You can always play around with this, you know, to see what you like and how much is enough for you. Um, I like to make a lot of layers because <laughs> I'm really paranoid about messing up. So we're going to make another layer. And I'm just going to go ahead and accent the eyeshadow by using a black brush. So just going to accent, add that to the ends. And this is again 22%, 0% hardness. And then I'm going to switch it to white. 
on the same layer and go ahead and just lighten up the other areas like around the eye lighten up around here darken up that area so it just brings it out again a little more makes a huge difference again you can always lower the layer if you think it's too much but actually I think it looks really good for this photo and I'll show you a zoomed out view again toggle it back and forth and for this one I'm going to be adding some eyelashes because I just I don't know I just want to <laughs> so what I've done is I went to DeviantArt and downloaded um, an eye, eyelash set which I will post in the description so what we're gonna do is go ahead and choose an eyelash right here we're gonna kind of estimate what size it is oh, it looks pretty good and we're gonna make sure that the opacity is at hundred percent for this so go ahead and just add it like that and we're gonna rotate this press control or command T I'm still on Windows <laughs> mode so command T and then what we're gonna do is right click go to warp and we're going to actually fit this to her eye make it look all nice and real okay, there we go let me just fix this later but okay i think that looks pretty good okay, why does that look funky i think i have to lower this maybe it's just this eyelash that looks weird no maybe not oh well, probably like a, okay so that is looking pretty good for now. No, oh, that looks funky. Well, I'm sure if I picked a better eyelash, there are so many of these. There are so many eyelashes. Anyways, th that one will do. Will be fine for now. We're gonna go ahead and lower the opacity. We're gonna try to mesh this in, and then. What I like to do is just go over it with a round brush and make it look a little bit like it belongs right there. So, I mean, if I could redo this, I probably wouldn't use that set of eyelashes. That set wasn't very good. Um... But, let me see, I think I use this one actually, I think that is the one that I use. Hmm. Well, now you guys know my workflow, right? Okay, let's see, let's try this one out. Well, I mean, it could be part of the tutorial because it's um, a bunch of errors, trial and error as they say. Is this the same one that I just used? <laughs> I swear I'll by myself. Okay, there you go. We're just going to add the eyelashes on there again. There we go. I didn't... There you go. So, I had it on... I should have put it on top of the frequency layer, which in another tutorial I'll explain how to retouch using frequency layers. So, what I'm going to do is just make a mask real quick. Just press the mask button on it. And then remove some of this because I think it's a little much. Like, no one has eyelashes like that ceiling like they bat and it reaches the ceiling and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing and then add it to the other eyelash but there are you gotta make sure that you're using the right and left eyelashes otherwise it's gonna look funky again command T rotate it around just so it fits let's see it looks pretty good and that one's looking pretty good already. I'm gonna have to warp the sides of this. You could add to the bottom. I normally don't add to the bottom. So that is one way to add eyelashes. And I know it's a little it looks a little obnoxious this one. I'm a little better with this right now. But you catch the drift of it. Let's see if I can. There we go. 
go higher. And I'm going to add in some black in there. Kind of make it look more. No, not that much black. <laughs> The black over there and that looks pretty good so that is how the eyelashes look and I think that we're pretty good so this is before the eyelashes after eyelashes I do show you guys a close-up so eyelashes or I'm sorry no eyelashes eyelashes and then accentuating the eyes so I think all in all, this is one way to do it. The other way would actually be to, well, use a frequency layer and edit, or you would actually go in with the healing brush and um, go ahead and retouch this entire thing, which I don't person I personally don't like to do. But um, this is one way, and I hope that you find this helpful. I'll be posting more tutorials, so stay tuned.